Hi guys, it's Mino. Welcome back to another beautiful day in the garden. Today we're going to be playing with something really fun that HOA has made for me. He has a 3D printer and he has 3D printed this split cup here with a sort of ergonomic design, which is very cool because he really was examining how I hold it and how I pour it. And the ones that are just round, when you're pouring it, it seems to come off of one edge. So he's actually made this one with a curve into it. And uh, it's gonna be pretty cool, I hope. So I've experimented with this a couple of times, which is why it's kind of dirty. But um, I think my paint was a little bit too thick. I have one inside that I'll show you after we do this one. This paint is much thinner than what I usually use. Uh, it's my same recipe with the Liquitex gloss medium and the paint and the Floetrol, but this has a lot more water added to it to keep them thinner. So let's move that away. This is an 18 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. So, okay, so my colors real fast, let me show you. This one is uh, Amsterdam Prussian Blue. Just leaving a very, very slight mount, and I think this one is a tiny bit thicker than the other ones actually, but I don't want to thin it down anymore. I also have Brilliant Blue, and my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics 24 Karat Gold. This is Amsterdam Pearl Blue, and their Titanium White Mixed. This is their Blue Violet, and this is their Magenta. And then I have one cup of drips from a pour that we just did that is mostly the Prussian blue. Okay, so let's layer this. And on one side, I want to actually start with some of that Prussian blue. And then I'm going to put a little bit of white in there. It's a very small amount of white and a little bit of gold. back to that Prussian blue again. A thicker layer this time. It's almost filled up. Um, a tiny bit more white in there and a little bit more gold. And I think this one is going to be done for this side. Okay. I'm just going to put a little bit of Prussian on top. Okay, now that chamber is pretty full. <laughs> Okay, for the next one, I'm actually going to start with some magenta. And a little bit of the gold on top of the magenta. And then the blue violet. I'm going to put a tiny bit of white on top of that, just to sort of give it something really contrasty. And then we're going to repeat that with the magenta again. Now it's filling up. I'm going to skip the gold this time and just put a little bit of the permanent blue-violet on top. Okay, so that one's really full too. Okay. This middle chamber, I'm going to put some of the Prussian blue in again. And now I'm going to put some of this brilliant blue in there. It's a really cool color. It does amazing contrasty things. Very, very neat stuff. Gold. I need a bit of white. Let's see if we can't do it this way. That's better. As it gets near the top, it's kind of full. I'm so happy the birdies are back singing again. That's so awesome. Maybe they'll fill up in the birdhouse this time. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's put some white in this one on the edge first. I haven't done that very, very neatly, but that's okay. A little bit of gold in there. And some white again. And I'm getting white in the other compartment. <laughs> um, let me see. Do I want to put the blue in there? No. Okay. I'm going to put some of this permanent violet, the blue violet in there. 
Okay, so that one's almost full. I'm just going to wait a second. This one, I think I want to start this last one with a little bit of gold. There is a little bit of white in there, I think, where it's splattered over. And we're going to put some more of this magenta in there. Ooh, it's a lot of magenta. Okay. Let's put some blue on top of it, though. Okay, well, that's very full. So this last one has a tiny bit of space in it. Put some gold on top. Okay. Well, not the neatest layering job, but I think it'll be all right. Okay, let's scoot these over. Okay, here we're getting sun now, which is not a good thing. Let me actually move these over even more. Okay, we're just scooched over so that we're not getting sun on the canvas. All right, I'm going to pour a little, like, a line of gold. A few places, and we're going to pour into that and move around a little bit. Let's just spread this out just a touch. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love, I am indeed. Okay, we're gonna use our ergonomic split cup. And I'm going to move around, so it's not going to stay in one place. Ready? Here we go. Okay, well that's interesting. So knowing what I do know about how thin this is, I'm not sure it's gonna hold the shape of those lines, even though this is really, really cool. Okay, all right. I have this other cup of Prussian blue that was the drips that I scraped off the table last time. There's a little bit of water in it and then we can use this as a flow extender. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is gonna stay because my paint consistency is thin, but it looks really cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's see if we can't tilt this out a little bit. I'm gonna try to anchor it over this corner.
I'm not crazy about all that brilliant blue on the bottom, so I'm going to see if I can stretch this part out more and take some of that corner off. That whole side. stop there because there's a few things I love that are happening that are really cool okay so let me wet the hands up again like point I'm not dripping it okay so the things that I love is this right in here that magenta with the permanent violet and that Prussian blue is gorgeous I love that with these little white streaks going through there and there's some gold cells popping up this is pretty to me now. There was too much of it on there before, but I love the lines that are happening. This is really cool. This is really cool. I love this, like, bit of the brilliant blue. I like this. I like it a lot. Let's give it a torch, and then we're going to be done. Woo! Do not go flying. busy but I love the movement that's happening in there I really like this triangular shape I love these lines going up I like this over here I really like that split cup and I'm gonna figure this out <laughs> so we've tried it now with thicker consistency paint and very thin consistency paint and it's still producing the beautiful lines I think I need to just maybe I'm, I need to play with the recipe a little bit more and see if I can't get this to work so this was fun though and thank you to HOA for a lovely new toy to play with. I really like the lines that are happening on this. It's really awesome. So this was cool. I will show you guys when it's dry. Thank you so much for being with us. I'll see you soon. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I am in love with this piece. This turned out so cool. I love so many different things about this. First of all, those cells, those little gold pearl cells that just popped up through it and are going crazy. And I'll show you something really cool about them in a second. But this corner up here and the upper left is just so cool with that brilliant blue in the background and then the white and the gold and those beautiful lines. Let me try to focus there. Hope you guys can see that. It's just so pretty. Really, really amazing details. And this is that awesome ergonomic split cup that HOA made for us that's causing all these pretty lines. I love that you can see all these colors in here. There's the Prussian blue and the permanent blue violet and then the magenta and the gold and that brilliant blue. So pretty. Really, really nice details of this one. I love these lines very celebratory feeling. This part just kills me. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. <laughs> just with that purple and the blue. Oh my god. And the blue violet, that darker color, and then you just see the little bits of white in between. So let me see if I can focus on these cells even closer because the coolest thing was happening. It's like this diffuse gold ring and then in the center of them there's this little darker gold dot. Really cool. I don't know if you can see all that, but it's awesome. Anyway, so this one made me very, very happy. This is actually the one that I wanted to show you guys on my birthday, but it wasn't dry yet. <laughs> and I have learned, don't pick them up until they're dry. So, but that's okay, because you guys get to see it now. So we were debating and debating over a title for this one. HOA sees something like the, the waves of Kanagawa. He sees a very oceany sort of scene. But to me, it's more sort of like fireworks or rockets in the sky going off. And just fireworks, especially with all those little gold cells behind it. So I think this one is going to be Skyrocket. And, uh, you know, it's awesome. So thank you guys so much for being here with us. This was so much fun. And uh, HOA is going to... We're going to try and do that amazing split cup that he did maybe with a few little design changes, maybe four chambers instead of five, and maybe a little bigger if we can, and see how it goes. So this was awesome. Thank you guys so much for being with us. 
We will see you guys next time. Have a beautiful day.